What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Ah, uh, well, we left off. We solved another murder. And we had to go down into a maze. It really creeped me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I feel we're getting closer to solving the murder. Or everything else. Let's just take this minecart. I feel like we're done in the mines. I just have a hint, a hinge, <laughs> a hunch. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, but we might as well go out in style in the old minecart. Alright, let's do it. So the stuff we know so far. We know that, first off, the Carters felt the need feel the need to either hurt or kill Ethan because he disturbed something in the Vandegriff estate, known as the Sleeper. Whatever that is, I have no idea. And also, I'm, pl uh, I'm playing as Paul Pasra and I'm able to kind of discover more clues through the stories Ethan has left behind. Is there anything down there? Nope, doesn't look like anything down there. So that's what I'm getting at so far. Because the guy says he's uh, solved hundreds of cases. So maybe he just has some special intuition. He's able to look beyond, even even in Im imaginations of people. Oh. And it looks like that's going to be a dead end, so I guess this is where we, we get off, folks. Yeah, steam and bubbling. It looks like I figured this water is boiling hot, but I... I don't know. I guess my guy's from Texas or something. He's just tough as nails. I really hope I don't see anything... Any more of those undead zombified dudes. I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. And it wanted me to leave. I think we're finally out of here. Yes! Ah! Sunlight. Oh, man. Whoa, we got a house over here. Oh, we're down here now. Yeah, we were all the way up there. There's the uh, Vandergriff estate, I believe. And that's the bridge I crossed to get there. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Can I go in? Ah, it's locked. Well, I'm assuming that I have to go to the other one. Oh, we got something there. Wall-mounted case. Axe-shaped discoloration. Fire axe cabinet. So there's an axe. I believe we're going to be solving another murder. from the inside, from the outside. Inspiration rage. Broken door. Or the, oh, man. Oh, no, is that Dale? It looks like Dale. Oh, man. Well, let me get the fire axe. I'll take it. Victim coin. Punctured throat. No other wounds, no footprints in the blood. Okay. 
Overturned pen holder. Scattered accessories. Scissors to Okay. Alright. So the fire axe was used to break the door, but he, um, Dale, I believe that's Dale, yeah, that's Dale, was killed another way. Okay, we got the axe back there. There's gotta be some, uh, the murder weapon, because I don't see it anywhere, unless I missed it up here. This is a really small house, everything's blocked off. Anything here? Hmm. Let me see. Yep, I'm missing something. I think I'm missing one thing. Alright. Probably outside somewhere. Been looking around for a little bit. Uh, must have missed something. Oh, wait, we got a. Oh! Is there anything up here? Oh, interesting. Hmm. The music's getting a little, <laughs> a little intense there. I don't. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, an elevator. Can I ride it up? Well, let's not go up there, yes. Whoa. Oh, snap. Scissors. I don't... I can't tell if that blood on it or not. Oh, this... Hmm. Okay. I think... I think that was it. Notice scissors were missing from the cup there. Okay, let's see if that was the final clue I needed. Scissors. Oh, snap. Aha! This seems like it's pretty straightforward, actually, so... It just goes in the order it is. Alright. I want to see exactly what happened here. See how this transpired. <coughs> oh man. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I, I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all so sick. You know? Since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan? God damn it! Talk to me! Okay! Okay! He wants to burn Vandegrift's room! Look, Travis, just. Just just leave me alone! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes, he chose Mom. He chose me. 
Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are gonna save you? Yes. Oh. It didn't have to be this way. You could have helped the sleeper, helped us. But Mom's right. You're a coward, and you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. Leads all the way back towards the mine. Oh no, back to this house. Well, then the door is open. Don't know how I feel about this. Oh man. Oh. You disturbed it. Travis. We can get rid of it. I know exactly what we're up against. Don't listen to what's in your head. This sleeper was feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Well then. I guess this, uh, I guess there's nothing up here. <laughs> I wonder what that did. Oh, it turned off the flow of the water. Ah, okay. Yeah, that was... Okay, I think I know. I think I have to go back that way. Yeah, because this wasn't... This was, um... Able to be unlocked. So I'm assuming I have to walk through the path, because I saw the water was, like, a little turbulent. It should be... Uh-huh. Yep. Well then. I guess our next stop is going to be the Vandegrift house. Because, um... Dale had told Ethan that he wants to burn it. Like you saw in the mine when Ethan was carrying those oil jugs or, I guess, gasoline. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to burn. Burn it down and try and save his family from whatever the sleeper was doing to their mind. Yeah. Quite possibly pro one of the most uh, visually stunning and audio visually, or audio visually, 
um, audio torally, I can't even think of the word, um, just awesome, just really stupendous. Oh, oh snap, looks like a burnt building over there. Oh man. Is this the Vandegrift place? Two lions. Doesn't look like it was burnt way too long ago. Whoa. What is that? Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Huh? Corvus? I guess it has to spell Corvus, but... Is this the room? I think this is where Ethan where Ethan uh walked into. Oh well what is oh snap. Charred Peaceful? Another another murder? Oh that's oh that's his grandfather. So his grandfather really wanted to. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Oh. I can squeeze through. to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. 
Even me. Wow. Ethan. Ethan, wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. What? Church, this place, stories, traps and skulls, space capsule, house of portals, witch forest, ancient god. Christ, Ethan, you're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma, he's in here. <clears throat> Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale. What the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake. You missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad? Shut up! You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, shit! Shit! Everyone! Whoa! Get out! Ethan! Get out! Get the smoke, it's toxic! Jesus! Oh, oh God! What do we do? What do we do? I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else?
Okay, I am still here and wow. Wow. So, if you guys didn't get that, everything, everything that I did was part of Ethan's story. Even myself, Paul Prospero, was part of Ethan's story. He wrote the story based on his, about his family. This is what I'm getting from. This is what I'm getting out of it. I could be completely wrong. But he wrote the story whereas everyone turned on each other because he saw how his family was. He saw his family was, you know, always fighting, always, you know, making, and they made fun of Ethan and everything like that. And so he wrote the story where Ethan was able to save him, himself and try to save an entire family, but in the end he couldn't. And so, Paul Prospero, me, the guy I was playing as, was, I was just living through the story that Ethan Carter wrote. That's why in the end he said, can I let go? And Paul said, yes, you can let go. Because Ethan knew he was going to die. He let himself die because of, well, as you can see, like everyone was just cracking on him and making fun of him, calling him names and everything and so wow <laughs> that that was good I got shivers throughout that entire throughout that entire um that ending I wanted to be as quiet as I could I, I really hope everyone still stuck through to the end but that's what I'm getting from the you know the um, my interpretation of the story itself and so, oh man, this was a really, this is a really well done game. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with what these guys did with this. This is just completely unique and, oh man, it's, it goes to show you that sometimes some indie developers can make some some really good quality games. And this is not me. I'm not trying to market the game or anything. I don't work for astronauts or anything like that. I'm just <laughs> but this is impressive. You know what I mean? Granted, it's you know it's it's straight to the point. It's short. It's visually stunning. It's you know the soundtrack, all the sounds, every the ambience, everything was just stunning. It was like perfect, the perfect size game. Yeah. So yeah, there's nothing. There's no end credit sequence or like you know like after credit sequence. So what I got from you know, what I got from the game itself, it's just, you know, like I said before, Paul Prospero was just another character in Ethan's imagination. And I'm assuming that, oh, my phone's going off. And what I, what I got from it was that, um, Ethan was, what, what he laid on his cot, like in that place he was in, where he was, you know, drawing all the stories. I already knew that we were in, a, in his, all the things we were doing, like the, you know, the astronaut and the, um, you know, the sea creature and all that stuff was just um, part of Ethan's imagination. I was just living through that, you know what I mean? And Paul Prospero, he knew that too. He knew, he, I'm pretty sure he assumed he knew that. And then um, what's crazy is, I don't know, my phone's going off, sorry about that. What's crazy is that um, Paul Prospero was just... Just another character in Ethan's mind. So the whole time we were just living through everything. We were, we thought we were Paul Pros. We thought we were Paul, just at looking at Ethan's stories and doing that. But in the end, everything was part of the imagination. It was just like sub imagination sequences, I guess, if that's a, if that can be explained that way. And so, um, yeah, it's that's that's what I got from it. And if you guys got anything else, though, just let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you guys got something out of it that I maybe missed. Um, anyway, guys, this was fun. I like I like this game a lot. I've really enjoyed it. Um, some people might say, oh, it's a cliche ending or kind of a tourist dream sequence ending. But for what, how it was done, it was very well done, especially for an indie developer. And so um, thank you guys again for tuning in, for tuning into this series. Really appreciate it. And uh, like, favorite, subscribe. If you enjoyed it and um, we'll see what other games we come up with if you guys have any games you want to recommend me go ahead and leave them down in the comments below or on my Twitter page or Facebook page and I'll see you guys in the next one oh wait am I in the beginning oh come on
Oh! Oh, holy crap! Oh my god, he was right there! Ah! Holy crapper! Holy crap! Butter on me, that's right. That's right, give me that butter. Give me that butter. Mm. Yes, right. That's right. Oh, bitch. Oh, look at that. Mm. Right there. Mm. 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 That's right, you like that butter? Mm. Huh? You like that? That's right. Butter myself up, baby. Alright, 